his place where we are meeting only a house the earth its floor walls and a roof sheltering people windows for light and open door yet it becomes a body that lives when we are gathered here and no Sown in us like seed, names for our God, dream signs and wonders sent from the past are all we need. We in this place remember and speak again what we have heard. God's free redeeming word, and we accept. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, in today's second reading, St. Paul urges the Ephesians to be imitators of God as beloved children and to live in love. For the times our words and actions have not mirrored the life of Christ, let us ask for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the living bread that came down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you were sent by the Father to bring life to your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We pray
ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit, we enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah went on a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beneath it. He prayed for death, saying, This is enough, O Lord. Take my life, for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree. But then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. Elijah looked, and there at his head was a hearth cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again. But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate, and drank. Then strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights, to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were sealed for the day of redemption. All bitterness, fury, anger, shouting, and reviling must be removed from you along with all malice. And be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. So be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to John. Glory to you, Lord. The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, is, is, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Note that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of the Gospel of the Saints. At the first glance, it doesn't seem that a 16th century explorer, some 20th century senior citizens and an ancient Chinese emperor would have something in common. In fact, they do. Who was this 16th century explorer? He was the Spaniard, Dion, that is his name, Ponce de Leon. After the discovery of the New World, news began to spread in Europe that there existed in the New World a fountain of youth. Excited by this news, Ponce de Leon set sail 
to America in search of this legendary fountain. That leads to the second group, those 20th century senior citizens who were there. They are the people, the old people in the movie Cocoon. Some of you have seen that movie. Those senior citizens one day took a bath in a swimming pool that was used by aliens secretly from another planet. Immediately after their bath, they experienced a return to their youth. Prompted by this sudden experience, those senior citizens accepted an invitation from the aliens to visit their planet. They were told that once they reach their planet, they will not die. They will live forever. That leads to the third group, that is the Chinese, ancient Chinese emperor. Who was he? It was the famous Chinese Emperor Qin. According to the National Geographic magazine, this Chinese Emperor Qin had a great fear of dying. It was this emperor who built the Great Wall of China that extends over 2,000 miles. And this is the only man-made structure that can be visible from the outer space, according to the astronauts. So this Chinese emperor, Chen, had a great fear of dying. One day, his magicians told him that there is an island paradise in the Eastern Sea. The inhabitants of this island know the secret for eternal life. Excited by this great news, Emperor Qin loaded several ships with the priceless gifts, with the hope of trading those gifts for this great secret. Reportedly, his servants found the paradise island, but the inhabitants refused to share the secret. So what all these little stories wind up to? What is the point we are trying to make here? It is people's quest, longing for eternal life. Ever since the beginning of time, people have expressed desires for not dying. People have expressed desire for living forever. People have expressed desire for eternal life. So when Jesus appeared in Palestine and began to talk about eternal life, people began to gather around him. And this was particularly interesting for the Jewish people because since the time of Abraham and Moses, they came to believe that there is a world of the dead. But what kind of world that would be, they had no idea. They were in the dark. So any light Jesus could shed on this mystery was welcome. One of the greatest statements about eternal life which Jesus made in the Gospels is read today in the Gospel of John when Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, and anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Wow. 
you could imagine the reaction from the people right away. They began to murmur and grumble and shake their head. They began to ask, is he not Jesus, the son of Joseph, the carpenter? We know his mother. We know his family. How can he say that he came down from heaven? They will not believe him. Only after Jesus' death and his resurrection, people began to recall those words of Jesus. And they began to put their faith in him. Today, we are all gathered here in the church to listen to Jesus, to receive the bread of eternal life. Jesus told the disciples, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am in your midst. Jesus is always in our midst when we gather in his name. Jesus also told the disciples, he who listens to you, listens to me. So when the scripture is read and explained to you, you are listening to the words of Jesus that Jesus spoke 2,000 years ago, the same words that are written in the Gospels. And when we gather to receive the bread of life, we actually receive the Lord himself. This is the bread that 16th century explorer Ponce de Leon was looking for. This is the bread those senior citizens in the movie Cocoon were looking for. This is the bread the Chinese emperor Qin was looking for, but they didn't get it. How blessed we are, how fortunate we are that we have the bread of eternal life. Jesus gave this bread in the Holy Eucharist and told his disciples to do it in his memory. And every time when we receive the Lord, we proclaim his death until his return in glory. Jesus is the eternal life. We are so fortunate and often we never realize the blessings we have received in our life. Nobody has given this blessing except those who believe in Jesus and follow him. Those who accept Jesus as their Lord and the Savior and God, they are the only ones who were blessed to receive this bread of eternal life. The bread that it will give life forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was not, and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. In His goodness and love, the Lord desires to, to satisfy our hunger and quench our thirst through the gift of His body and blood. With the confidence, let us bring our needs before Him. For the Holy Church, that she will be watched over and guided by the hand of God, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that all world leaders whose decisions affect the lives of so many may be guided in their judgment by the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that Catholic communities around the world will be embraced by Pope Francis's Laudato See, focusing their capacities on climate and justice for the poor and vulnerable. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that our parish community may be imitators of God, being kind, compassionate, and forgiving of one another. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those who are sick will be drawn into Christ's loving embrace, especially Timothy Matin, Bill Edgerton, Reverend Tom Baima, Thelise Toussaint, May Toussaint, Diane Gogoski, Jeanette Gustasol, Marie Cavanaugh, and all who have developed COVID-19 and those who continue to struggle with the effects. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. <clears throat> that our beloved dead who shared in the living bread will live forever with the Lord, especially Nancy Toussaint, sister of Marie Toussaint. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are unable to worship with us in person, for whom this Mass is being offered, and for the prayers we voice in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Abandoned God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to teach forgiveness of sins and the newness of life. Hear our prayers that we might dwell in the love of Christ all the days of our lives and express that love through word and deed to all we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Much to be concerned. 
Acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that you may hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your Lift up your hearts. Let us give a thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and the archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the courts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving the hands, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and a drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of pain. 
save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis, our Pope, Lay Serpit, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have praise to you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy all glory and honor is yours forever and Blessed to hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in heaven forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Take away the sin. 
became partakers of the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, and have a safe weekend. Who fashioned and made 
guiding us on to the end of our days. Our colors are are us, pure light goes before us, a pillar of fire shining forth in the night, till shadows have vanished and darkness is banished as forward we travel from light into light. His law he enforces the stars in their courses, the sun in its orbit obediently shine. The hills and the mountains, the rivers and fountains, the depths of the ocean proclaim God divine. We too should be voicing our love and rejoicing with glad adoration, a song let us raise till God is